Hey guys, so still sick, but I was so excited about this discovery that I could not keep it to myself. So today we're doing a tutorial on how to customize rooms and more importantly, how to get as many rooms in OpenTunes as you want. So we're going to open OpenTunes and what I've done is I've deleted all of my room preference files and what happens when you do that is OpenTunes will give you the defaults, your cleanup, palette, edit, ink and paint, X sheet, batches, browser, etc. All with the default stuff, Tunes remakes them because it has to have them. So if you go in here, you go to your OpenTunes stuff file, your profiles, layouts, opentunes.u, whatever your username is, that's what's going to be there. And then you've got seven files we're looking at here. You've got layouts file and your room files. When you open the layouts file, what you get is this. This is essentially a list of the files that Tunes has to look at to get your rooms. I don't know if this whole carriage return thing and spaces really matter, but since it didn't work until I did this, I'm assuming it probably matters. So remove your, <clears throat> remove your spaces and put each room on a new line. We're going to go ahead and save that. Now we're going to close OpenTunes because right now we want to be editing our rooms individually here and if you have OpenTunes open, once you close it, it's going to resave it and that's going to screw up any edits we make. So if you open room 1 and look at this, I've got <coughs> a room. This room in brackets here just tells the program that's what the type of file is. It's a room file and this is where you look for it. Now down here you've got panes, and you've got hierarchy, and you've got a name. Your panes are your different windows. So see we've got the combo viewer window, your cleanup settings, and your X sheet. Your hierarchy uh, determines where the windows are docked in your program. So in this case, <clears throat> I would not advise editing these while the program is closed because it's really not worth it. You can drag and drop, you can dock and undock. It's so easy to do in the program that it's not worth doing in the code. If your docking isn't working, then this is going to be, these numbers are your, <coughs> how big your windows are, and these numbers, whatever they mean, are where your window is docked. So if you figure that out, if your docking isn't working, I would suggest looking at that and trying to figure it out. Your name is completely superficial and can be anything you want. I'm going to say puppy for no reason. We're going to save this, close this, open OpenTunes back up. Da, da, da. And now my cleanup layer is named Puppy. So much fun. But what if we want more than six? Quick word of advice before changing anything in rooms, save a backup of your current rooms. If you don't want to lose your current configurations, you're going to want to save a backup. I've got my backups here of all 11 of my rooms. I have 11 and I'll show you why in a sec. I don't actually use more than six of them, but it's nice to have them in case I want to m mess around. I'm going to make these windows smaller so you can see both at the same time. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my two rooms, my files here, and I'm going to drag them over, uh, copy and replace, or move and replace actually is what I did. Now if we open OpenTunes back up, it's got my tabs, which I've got BG drawing, animation, colors, effects, X sheet, and browser, because those are the only ones I really use. I don't use cleanup. So to get more than six. Got this. And there are two things I've figured out that if I don't have them, then it won't show. <coughs> if room six INI is at the bottom of the list, I will lose the last room or it won't let me make more than that. <coughs> also, if I want to add a new room, I just make another line. Let's say I want another version of seven. You can have as many versions of the same room as you want, but that'll probably come into complications if you try and change one of them. 
I would not suggest having more than one, but we're just using this as an example. Say I want another copy of REM7 I and I. Notice colors is shown up, but there's no layer after that. So this room 11 isn't showing. So from what I found, you need to have a room at the end that you're not planning on having, and you need room 6 to not be the end of the line, which works fine if you've got the room at the end. But let's say I want to add a new room here with a new file. It's actually super easy. You go to your notepad, at least on Windows. Just a note that everything I do is in Windows 7, so if you're working with Mac or maybe a, a later version of Windows, it's not guaranteed to work. I hope it does, but we'll see. So for this one, it's really easy to make a new room. Bracket, no, sorry, bracket, room. I'm not sure if the capital matters. We're going we're gonna to just not do a capital. And then hierarchy, if you can spell hierarchy right. I think that's I think that's I think that's spelled wrong. Hi hierarchy. Hierarchy <sighs> equals I gotta remember this negative one and put a space there just in case. And then name equals. Now we're gonna save that as <clears throat> we're gonna save that as room twelve dot I and I. Now this dot ini is important. Make sure you have that. I'm going to save that. Now we're going to go to our layouts and let's add room 12 dot ini. Save. Exit out of things. Open open tunes. And you see we have this empty box here. That's because I have no information <coughs> about the setup of the room in my file. But that's really easy to fix. Come to Windows, add a combo viewer, and dock. Windows, say you want a file browser in here. Not sure why we would want a file browser and a uh, file browser and a combo viewer in the same one, but maybe you do. Let's say we wanted a flipbook in there too. Let's let's go ahead and add a flipbook here. The books are dockable, right? What is it doing? It's... There we go. Let's dock our flip book. Now close out of the program. And when you go back to room 12, all your information has been automatically saved. Your hierarchy is, is fixed to what you want it to be. You can name it, say, random here. Make sure any changes you make to these rooms happens while OpenTunes is closed. Otherwise, when you close it, It'll save the preferences and you will overwrite this file. Open open tunes again. And random is here. So as far as I can tell, there's no cap on rooms. Go crazy with it. I hope you enjoy. I hope this was helpful. Share with your friends. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.